Hi, in this video we will take a closer look into the contact library called Chromed. I will to the best of my ability try to explain how it works and how you can use it in your own songs, beats or melodies. This library was set out to capture the sounds of analog synths for an affordable price, without having to spend thousands of dollars on hardware equipments. So, when we built this library, we sampled sounds from multiple analog synths and ran them through hardware guitar pedals. And notably, we did not want this library to be like an emulation. All the sounds in this bank are straight out of the synth. No digital masking, no digital effects or anything which would interrupt the sound from being 100% analog. Once you have purchased this library on our website, you will be prompted with a download page. And we will also automatically send you the download link to your email. Installation. After you have purchased this library and downloaded your files, you will have this zip file in your computer or Mac. What you want to do next is extract it into a new folder. With this folder you just want to open it up and drag the .nki file into contact. And there we go, everything is ready and you can now play around with the library. Layers. This library is made out of 8 individual layers which you can tweak to your liking. As we talked about previous, all of these are completely analog. And all layers except waves have one velocity layer. So if you play the waves preset at a velocity of 127, the wobbles will be decreasing. Otherwise, if you just play it as a normal velocity, smaller than 126, you will have an evenly spread wobble. So, once you have designed a sound with your layers, you can further mold your sound with ADSR controls. And we have built this library so all the sound coming from the layers will be affected equally with the ADSR controls. So you have a better control of what you want to make. So you can control the attack by dragging it, the decay by dragging, sustain by dragging, and release. The more to the left the release is, the longer it will be, and the same goes for attack, decay, and sustain. XY pad. Now we can finally get into the good stuff. This library has a built in XY pad with infinite options of how you want to affect your sound. The XY pad works with these controls low pass filter, saturation, chorus, and reverb. And with these effects, you can turn them on and assign how you want to affect them. We can either assign them to the X axis or the Y axis. So, for an example, if I turn on the low pass filter, the effect is going to affect the sound. And with the XY button to the right, I can assign how to use it. So right now it's standing on the Y, now it's standing on the X axis. And this means the position of the mouse in the pad will determine the effect implied on your sound. So let's just uh, test something out. So if I want to add some chorus as well, I control it with the Y axis. Reverb. So hopefully you get the point with the XY pad. You turn on the effect you want to use and you assign how you want to control it with the XY button. Effects. Lastly of the things that you can mold your sound with is the effect panel. Here you can control the amount of resonance in the low pass filter when it is turned on. Or you can control the rev time of the chorus effect. And lastly you can decide the depth of the chorus effect. 
MIDI CC. For this library, we have assigned MIDI CC to the XY pad, meaning you can control the mouse cursor in this pad using your MIDI CC1 and MIDI CC11 controls. So, MIDI CC controls the Y axis, and MIDI CC11 controls the X axis. We have also coded in the ability to record your XY positions. This means you can change the position of the XY mouse while recording and your DAW will play back exactly how you position the XY mouse. And you can store and save these for a later day and bring them up in new sessions or the same session. This was the whole walkthrough, so I hope it all makes sense. However, if you have any questions related to the bank, please leave a comment on YouTube or email fecanrecords at gmail.com and I will gladly help and try to explain how everything works. So, peace.